nobody was out there saying, hey, Stax is right. We got to open our fucking eyes. Everyone needs to be not just aware of this guy. They're everywhere. They're surrounding you. You watch them every day. Then you get manipulated to give your money away. And then in the end, you could have invested that fucking money in yourself. Let's go. What's up, baby? Not for no 10 minutes of in here. Let's go. Yeah, I, was, uh, I went to see Easy while you were out of town. Uh, yeah, Easy. Uh, Easy's my new barber dog. No more Angel. Angel uh, sold his shops. And um, I'm not too sure what he's doing now. I think he's doing barber stuff out in, uh, in Bernie or something. I'm not too sure. So now, baby, we have Fresco Cuts. Fresco Cuts. Actually, I think it's Fresco Fades, my man. It sounds better, too. Fresco Fades. Again, man, these holidays, they really... Uh, Set you back, you know. You be going kicking ass, knocking shit out, then bam, two three days off, a weekend and Christmas. What the? That's five days off, bro. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Christmas was one day. Tuesday took off. You know what I mean? It's just. It's meant to be though. Yeah, that's what they say. A lot of people don't understand, man. It's it's the guys who know how to work guys who can actually make their hands useful that will be useful in this world you know what I'm saying if you can make yourself useful with your hands then you'll be useful but if all you are is just a mouth well guys you know with all due respect I know you're watching me right now but there's a lot of people out there that y'all listen and are motivated by right am I right yes yes I'm right of course so all this motivation and all the extra bullshit and all everybody's speeches are over with and you're tired of this and all that bullshit what do you really learn though how to be motivated motivated to do what to wake up cool now we have accomplished what you were supposed to do a long time ago then what are you gonna do you know what I'm saying? That's that's where I get at. Like you gotta learn trades, learn skills. You know, I always tell people, man, build your fucking portfolio, dog. And I'm not talking about your portfolio for your next interview. I'm talking about your portfolio for life. You know what I mean? Man of many different trades. Whoever thought I would be a businessman, though, right? <laughs> that's like laughable to me. I never in my life thought I would own this many businesses, be doing this much different stuff, and then check it out. I'm the brains. What? I'm the one that deals with CPAs, and taxes, and all types of, you know, government documents with the IRS, and tax exemptions, and, you know, just, I mean, so much stuff. It's a blessing, you know, because it took time and I learned very, very slowly, right? So over a 10 year, 11 year span, uh, starting off with my fence company and starting how to build a, just a basic Facebook business page, to be honest with you, business pages are free. Built a Facebook business page. And uh, now going from there to, you know, being on first page placement of Google business page, on you know website, Facebook business page, uh, maintaining those pages, growing that business, to uh, coming up with just an idea. That's what it was, an idea. And then every day I worked my ass off towards, you know, obviously what I already had going for me. And then any free time, I went with the idea. But we're not talking about something that I envisioned, you know, one year ago. We're talking about me envisioning having my own supplements over a decade ago. 10 years ago. Mind you, doing all this with nobody else's capital, guys. Just my own. And that's a huge thing to me because a lot of these other guys that you guys watch and are influenced by, they got some other people helping line their pockets to make them look like they're somebody they're not. You know what I mean? And 
I'm not gonna start shouting out names, but you know, because I'm just not trying to get it negative. But my thing is, it's like, you know, if it looks too good to be true, guys, it is. This is true. This is real. Waking up every day and, you know, not having everything handed to you and then saying, oh man, I'm successful. Look at me. I'm successful. You know what I mean? And, and, and I'm not even talking about Whack Watson. I'm just talking about in general people who are already blessed with money before they even had to try to work for money. Not people like me, but people like you guys who come from nothing, who had to work for everything they have. And then every paycheck we have goes towards our bills, goes towards this invention, goes towards this idea. You know what I mean? And, and that's everything, guys, investing, everything. No bad investment when it comes to investing into yourself. Moving around Fresco Friday over at Fresco Fades. Let's go. I like that. My boy cleaned it up too. He's going to do a complete remodel. Pretty excited for him. But yeah, man, uh, you got to be real to yourself. That's just the bottom line, man. The bottom line is, unless you got somebody with some money willing to invest, and trust me, when I tell you this, man, this is, this is no lie. Guys, I wanted to do it all on my own. I never wanted anyone to give me any money. I had somebody come to me years before I met Ricky. Uh, man, I wish I could remember the guy, and I don't even mean, mean to be rude, man. I would know him right when I seen him. Man, he came up to me at Gold's Gym in, in San Antonio, Petrenko Road, 151. And I remember it like it was yesterday, offered me $50,000 to help invest into the business. He wanted to you know, invest into me and he wanted to be partners. He had 50,000. He had 50,000 he wanted to invest. And you know, everything told me, no, Joe, do it on your own, do it on your own. And it took long, longer than I expected, you know? But as sad as it sounds, 10 years flies by pretty damn fast, guys, when you're a consistent motherfucker work your ass off and you do the same shit day in, day out, work, gym, home, repeat, work, gym, home, repeat, and I'm, you know, I may be out there now spending, you know, money, but that's because I did that consistently over and over for years and years and years and years without spending any money, guys, without that instant gratification, guys. And I saved, and I saved for something big. And you know what that big thing was? To start another company. To start another company. And I always saved, and I saved, and I saved. And I had a what? An invention, an idea. Just like my boy E.T. says, I, I listen to him. I think he's a great motivational speaker. You know why though, guys? Because my boy comes from struggle. My boy comes from struggle. My boy's had obstacles he's actually lived a life that he had to overcome things that people don't normally have to overcome which makes you what a stronger person which makes you what now nothing can fucking break me you know what i mean it's like the penitentiary now nothing can break me i've been to hell my man i've been to hell you know what i'm saying i've been to hell and back and that's in the Texas State Penitentiary, man. And, and out here, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. It doesn't matter if I'm living in a 4,000 square foot home or a 2,000 square foot home. Or when I got out of prison, guys, I lived in a box, man. You know what I'm saying? I had a 600 square foot apartment when I came. Well, really, I lived in my dad's garage. Then I moved from my dad's garage to my sister's garage which was a full-blown meth house, trying to stay sober, and obviously it was easy for me because I didn't do meth, but just trying to be around those people, be in around that environment and grow a business. Come on, man. Come on, man. Try to go see a parole officer after living in a fucking garage. I lived in my dad's garage for about six months, and then I lived in my sister's garage for about six months. So for the first year I was out of prison, I was living in a garage sleeping on a couch, sleeping on a sleeping bag on the floor in a garage with an oil heater. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, just to stay warm in the winter time. Like, but guess what? I woke up every day and I went to work. And I ran a company out of a fucking car. A Mustang 5.0 Fox Body hatchback. Then I bought a Honda, uh, well, then I used my girlfriend's Honda Accord, Papa's mom's at the time. You know what I'm saying? It, it, no excuses, guys. No motherfucking breaks. And we're talking back in 2012. It's gonna be 2024, so it's almost 12 fucking years ago, guys. Who could have ever thought 12 years ago when I first started my business with $50 in my pocket, living in a meth house, went to Office Depot, got cards made with a couple pictures on a shitty flip phone I had. I still have one card left that I saved from that deck of cards, from the very first set of cards. I actually have one card left from every set of cards. I saved one card in a certain spot. And I just save it just to remind myself, look at these little pictures that you would have on your cards. Bro, guys, the pictures were like this big, smaller than a dime. The pictures were tiny and, and I would give them out to people and I'd give them quotes and just, just work. And that's the blueprint, you know, just work. And if it seems too good to be true, it is guys, because every day I woke up and, and, and I've, I've taken on every obstacle, overcome it beat it you know had people offer me these opportunities and maybe I should have took that $50,000 loan but everything told me not to so I didn't but what I'm saying is 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 some of the people that are out here doing these things were already blessed with the capital to do these things before they even started doing the business they didn't have to work at wash tub like me growing up they didn't have to work at the bakery washing dishes they didn't have to work at Pizza Hut making pizzas. You know what I mean? Those are just a couple jobs I had. So if you have those jobs, don't think that you can't be in the same fucking position that I'm in today. But did I say 12 days or did I say 12 years? You know what I'm saying? Man, I need to go get this fresh cut. I'm feeling a little greasy. But guys, don't let anybody tell you you can't be done. And it ain't gonna be easy. And there's gonna be tons of obstacles. But the thing about it is, time, time. It takes time, consistency and time. And don't let anybody ever get in your way. Don't let anybody, I got choked up right there. Cause bro, I don't even let my own family get in my way. And I'm not talking about my children. I'm talking about my dad, my mom, my sisters, my brothers, my, my older family, my younger family, my own children. I'm responsible for them. So yes, they get in the way all the time and I'm grateful for that. But I'm talking about the people in your life that you allow to distract you, to talk down on you. Even Wes Watson, even Big Girl, I allowed them to distract me. No more distractions. I allow them to distract me and I'm fucking done being distracted because I ain't everyone's superhero. All I got is four babies and I'm here to be their superhero. Four babies, I'm here to be their superhero. Whose legacy am I leaving behind? My legacy for my kids. And is that legacy going to be somebody that, uh, well, has to check a motherfucker every once in a while? Yeah, it will be. And I'll explain to my son why. But do I want to have to put myself in, in situations where <sighs> I'm going to have to pull a blade out on somebody? Nah, not usually I don't. You know what I mean? And I don't want to have to explain those to my son. If it happens, it happens. Do I want to put myself in a situation again where I put the cape on and think that people are going to respect me more for being honest and telling the truth? Guys, y'all fucked that up because you didn't have a pair and you didn't share. Because when I put that cape on and I went to go tell the truth about somebody and expose them, where were my people at? Where's everybody that has a big old pair of balls like Stax? That's what I fucking thought. Nobody was out there sharing. Nobody was out there saying, hey, Stax is right. We got to open our fucking eyes. Everyone needs to be not just aware of this guy. They're everywhere. They're surrounding you. You watch them every day. Then you get manipulated to give your money away. And then in the end, you could have invested that fucking money in yourself. Let's go. What's up, baby? Good morning. My man. It's cold as fuck. It's cold oh, as fuck. Yeah. We don't come in this early. 
What's up, God? It's easy. What's up, God? Oh, man. So easy bought the shot from Angel, guys. Now this is his shot. Yep. Let's go. Oh, okay, I was gonna say your hair looks nice already. Uh, she did good. Is she was, she was, she was a girl, but she's like trying to get back into like she knows the cosmetology part of it. But she wants more barber. Exactly. Yeah, I mean. So. You gotta yeah. you gotta expand those horizons. What we were just talking about. That oh, portfolio. Yeah. Cosmo guy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Not a barber. Yeah, good, bro. That's what she said. She said she has that, so she wanted to like double. I guess there's like a program where you can. Bro, double. honestly, at this point, bro, barbering and Cosmo are like. Yeah, one and one, yeah. 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 As long as you have the certificates. Yeah. And my thing is, is like, for people like to, you want to be the best at what you do. So you don't want to just know how to do like a yeah. barber. Yeah, you want to know how to, and then realistically, where the money's at, shh, salons, bro. Man, the, the thing about me, man, when I go to the gym, I slack if I go by myself, man, honestly. Yeah. I'm actually the opposite. Same. Opposite? Yeah, I go by myself, I don't slack. When I go with people, I slack. I feel like, because I, if I go with someone, I feel like we, I, I, I push them or they push me, like, oh, let's do more. Or put some more weights on it, or let's do this. And that's what keeps it going. Like, all right, cool, I can beat you on this. Or something like that. Yeah, yeah. That's. I mean, I guess I had something like that, like a workout partner in the beginning. But for me, I never want to, like, I don't know. I'm not about putting more weights on. Yeah. Because that's how you get hurt. Yeah. I'm always about mind to muscle connection. I get something that I can control, do about 20 times nice and easy, mm -hmm. and then I just slow down. Nah, okay. Slow, squeeze, slow, press, slow, squeeze, slow, scur curl. You know, I fully extend, I fully squeeze, I press out. A lot of people lock their elbows, but don't. The term's not lock your chest, but. The term is like, you know, you press with your chest. A lot of people press with their shoulders and their arms more than they actually utilize their chest muscles to use on a bench press. That's, uh, I can see that happening. I, I, I like to use a lot of machines, bro. You don't ever see me using free weights. Only free weights I use are like dumbbells, like for curls or, you know, like incline stuff and stuff like that, but never any bars, no flat bench, no flat incline. And don't get me wrong, that's like all the basics in the beginning. Mm -hmm. But I mean, they invented these machines for a reason. Yeah. So that way you don't have to have a spot. That way you don't have to hurt yourself. You don't have to injure yourself. But you still get the same mobility and range of motion, if not perfect mobility and range of motion, because the machine actually forces your body to go perfect. Yeah. Bench press gives you no range of motion, bro. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna do bench press, you do wide grip and you don't go for uh, like full range of motion because like realistically, the bar, people are like, touch the bar on your chest, you're not getting, but if I tried to touch the bar on my chest, I'm actually over, I'm putting my shoulder over muscles that are not supposed to be, I'm forcing this. Mm -hmm. My muscles are not supposed to be forced to do this for the bar. I'm so big, I come here, I stop about right here. You see how my arms and elbows are to 90? Yeah. All my muscles in my back are touching each other. If I go any more, that starts to hurt. Yeah, now imagine that. putting 225 pounds on top of that and then forcing it to go down. And people don't realize, man. And, and, and I say, I didn't realize until I had four fucking hernias. Seven, believe it or not. Oh seven. Oh seven. So people are like, what are you using that? Like 2020? I'm like, hell no, nah, man, just take care of my shit. Yeah, that's my baby right there. Easy man. Appreciate you, big dog. Have a good one, man. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. Always. And then uh yeah, I got real man. That's why I tell people real recognizes real and and when people start to see the channel that man, he's got four kids, man, he's got multiple businesses, man, he goes to the gym still. Man, this guy does all this in one fucking day? 
I need to step it up, you know? And it, it's just motivation, man. Yeah. It's motivation for my people out there to, you know, just only get bigger and get better, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know I'm a truck driver. I can't even find time to go to the gym. You're a monster, dog. You know what? <laughs> I actually just met a fan of mine who's a truck driver, and he's actually famous for going to every Lifetime Fitness in every state. He is known as the truck driver to hit every Lifetime Fitness wow. in the nation. Yeah, in the nation. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Big country, you can be the first one to hit every Golds in the nation. <laughs> the Golds gym in the nation. Hey, and you're a big mean, motherfucker, dog, yeah. so. Like, I don't know, Lake, last time I was in the gym, I Lake Press 600. Yeah, that was just a warm-up. You know? yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, dude, you, you carrying around what? What are you, like 330? Like four. Four? I told yeah. you. Like six, four? Okay, yeah, so that's why you hide it. You're carrying that weight around with you all day, man. I tell people, you get up in that gym, yeah. your body has what they call muscle memory. Yeah. So no matter how long it's been, your body will get right back to where your best shape was yeah. within the first 30 to 90 days, my man. I played football, but I had I messed up my knees, so I also own a massage clinic here in San Antonio. So all that messing up your knees, yeah. our biggest client's 500 pounds. Wow. Yep, and he's not 6'4". <laughs> this guy can barely walk. And what we do is we put him on the table, lengthen him out. I'm not the masseuse, my boy Hassan is. Yeah. But he's a big old 240 pound 6'4 Lebanese dude. Or 6'2. He's a big dude though, big old dude. I tell people that you need this type of work. It's called a medical massage. Yeah. Because you're sitting in that truck on the you know? I bet you your lower back is so latched on to your your, your, your <laughs> man, if you get in there, let me give you the, the website if you don't mind. The breakdown sa.com. Yeah, he has tactile senses. He knows how much pressure to apply to you as opposed to him or him or an old lady or whoever. I was like, yeah, bodybuilders hurt. Yeah. Everything hurts all the time because I'm a bodybuilder. And you know, I'm in pain here, I'm in pain on my back, my legs hurt, everything was hurting. I mean, my whole fucking body felt like I got hit by a truck every yeah. day because I was just in pain. Yeah. Then I met him and he's like, bro, you have no blood flow. You have no healing. Your body, the blood's not going to where it needs to go because you're not, you're just so latched on. Like I'm telling you, yeah. once you get all that blood circulation, all that skin and all that work done, bro, you're going to have more energy. You're going to be able to move better. You're going to be able to get up in that truck. Like you ain't nobody's business, bro. Like people are going to be like country. What the fuck are you on? because you are moving like nobody's business now, but it's only because you have your spine, then you have these two muscles that go down the side of your spine called your lumbars. Yeah. And over time, what you don't realize, sitting down shrinks your lumbars. Standing up, only lengthening them so much. Sitting down shrinks your lumbars. What do you probably do more than? Sit down. So your lumbars are probably shorter than they've ever been in their entire life. Yeah. They're probably so tight that they're like, please country, just lengthen me. Just let me get longer again, let me get tall. Because let me tell you, people started saying I was cocky after I started getting massages, because yeah. I would walk in places like this. But that's how you're supposed to walk. This is how you're supposed to walk country. Yeah. When you walked in, you walked like this. I, I used to walk like that when I was, when I was in high school. You know like, what? Yeah, because <laughs> but it's cause your, sh your shoulders are, Shrugged forward. Yeah. Your body shrugged forward. It's from this. Yeah. It's from this. Get your body right, man. You know, yeah. health is wealth. And, and it's nothing about diet right now because you already have the frame to hold the 400. Right. I'll see you later. Nice to meet you. Oh, country. Nice to meet you too. God bless you, brother. Yeah. Hope you guys have a happy new year. I'll see you on uh, Friday. Yeah, All right, Mo, let me know. Hey, thank you, brother. It. Take care, homie.
came out perfect. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't stacks on me, but you rocking that stacks on me merch. Wow, bro, what the fuck? If you need a watch, let me know. Bro, that's loud. What'd you do? You trade it in one of your ones? No, I got all those. Uh, let's do Aminos. Aminos? Yeah, so like, this guy's is to the line. I like it at the line. It's a little bit more than what it says on the, the ounces. Let me throw the powder in there first. Okay. For some reason, the 10 ounces, I think it says 10 to 12 ounces, I believe. The Aminos right? is more fluid, and then the pre. And here's my thing always, guys. I like to use this thing called common sense. <laughs> and uh, so you buy that. Yeah, 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 you can't buy that. It's free. <laughs> and, uh, we give it away here. Stacks NX and B. Stack substance for free. If you don't, you know, want it to be too watered down, make sure you don't use too much water. You know what I'm saying? If you want it to be a little bit more flavorful, a little bit. That's why my boy Santi over here double scooping with 12 ounces, right? You have my oh, 12? The amino pre. The I bet the pre. Ball. Yeah, don't see both. I was gonna say both. Cherry slush. Cherry slush one. My leg day was insane. And I did one scoop. One scoop, leg day. This is gonna have two scoops. Because two scoops is technically oh, okay, the, well, never mind. the full serving. So, yeah, you did two I scoops. I did two scoops. That's why my leg day was so good. I was like, Cherry oh. <laughs> slush, let's go. That's good, man. You're, I don't, I don't, I don't know about pops. Well, the first flavor you gotta feel is the ice. Then you gotta go the with white. the red, the cherry, and then you gotta go with the blue, which is clearly blue. I mean, ice. it tastes good. I think it's bomb. Yeah. Well, we got more just in case. We're good on everything so far. It's the last one. Pre bump. Which is the bump, yeah, bump up pre. So I don't got any issues with the amino flavor on bump up. Now, this is the pre workout. Bump pop pre. The new style bump pop pre. Y'all let me know. That's smooth, bro. It's good. It's got a little kick though, but not a bad kick. It's a good cherry kick, I feel like. What is that extra? I, I, don't, I don't I can't, I don't, I don't know. I mean it's 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 good, it's not bad, it's smooth, it's, it's delicious. clean. Yeah. I don't know how to uh, do you do you have that kick that I'm getting? I, I can't uh I can't identify like what, what my flavors I'm tasting now. Nah, but uh honestly, what sucks is is that we can't have them both come out at the same time. The hoodie though, hoodie though, it's like it's like a fleece, so it's not real heavy. Two fifteen, so I probably take off like six pounds, five point seven, about two ten for the tone. You know what I'm saying? Shredded though, lean mean. Focus on my goals and put all that other bullshit aside and just goals and work. Goals and work. It shows. Yeah, yeah. It shows 100. Always. You got your mind always occupied on other stuff on the outside, like, you know, and that's other stuff. That's always other stuff. fucking plateau of my lats right now. Just keep fucking killing lat pull downs. 10 <laughs> sets. That's how I break my plateaus. 10 sets of whatever you want to break. Guarantee you're going to break through that plateau. 
I used to do 10 sets of 10 reps. All like medium to heavy, you know what I'm saying? 10 sets, 10 reps. I really just got warmed up. That whole thing. Yeah. As opposed to your hand grip, moving back. It yeah. helps it a lot. You can go lighter, you can. Ah. Too, you know what I'm saying? Like you see my lat stretched out. Yeah, this is reverse uh, tricep uh, extension. Extensions, yeah. Reverse tricep extensions. But ah, I'm gonna burn my triceps out. Oof. Ah. Ah. So that way I don't use my arms too much because I'm already tired. Why you want to cover them up? Cherry drop. Soon, but honestly, yeah, while you're at the shop, you should be sipping on some of them aminos, some Stacks Army aminos. You got better vitamins, better organ, better everything. Like, 
later on, after you train for about three months with supplements, you see what your body looking like as far as like testosterone, go get your blood work, and just be like, where am I at? And then bam, uh, what they say, you know what I mean? What you got going? Uh, shit, nothing. Chilling? Chilling. Yeah, so go get some food in. Definitely get some food right now. I gotta get a fucking massage right now. Let's go. Nasty out here. Oh, rainy. It's a wrap, baby. You ain't gotta go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> you got that one already. I appreciate all the love and support from everybody. Buying that Stax Army merch, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got these hoodies no more, so don't ask. But I got some hoodies coming soon, guys. I appreciate all the love and support. Make sure you go comment, what's up, baby? Make sure you go comment, let's go in the comments. Hashtag Stax Army. Don't forget, if you haven't yet, get you them Stax supplements. The realest subs on the market. Just read the facts, baby. Stacks facts. Let's go.